Hey you guys, Beth Brutality here, and we are gonna do a little review of the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So I'm actually outside so that you guys can kind of see uh, the ridiculous amount of strobing I have going on. I have on champagne pop, so pretty excited about that. It looks really, really good on my fair skin. Um, but this video is actually gonna be recorded over the course of a couple of days, so uh, I'm gonna wear it today for like date night because it's my birthday and then I'm also gonna wear it to work uh, at least once. Um, today I do not have on any sort of setting powder or any sort of primer. So we're gonna see what happens. Uh, pray for me because if it's bad, I'm gonna look hilarious. So let's get started with first impressions. So first impressions for this one, I'm actually really, really liking it. Um, it dried quickly, but not so quickly that it was difficult to blend. Uh, it has a really beautiful natural matte finish, so I still kind of have a glow, uh, which is fantastic. You don't want to look flat and dead, uh, but I'm not like shiny or dewy or anything like that. It's just, it looks like a natural matte skin finish. Um, the coverage was super easy to build up, and you can see like over my acne scarring, it built up really, really easily. Uh, I put it on with a Real Techniques stippling brush. And I haven't added any concealer or powder or anything like that. I just have this on right now and I didn't even use a primer because I really wanted to test it. Um, the color is actually pretty spot on. It's ivory. Uh, they have two very fair shades right now. One is fair with pink undertones and, or neutral with pink undertones and that's porcelain. And this is the neutral with golden undertones and it's called ivory. Um, for those who want to compare, I usually wear in 20 and cover effects. Um, so I am definitely one of the fair girls, but it looks really, really good and I'm really liking it. So we are going to see how I feel about it after dinner. So just a real quick clip as the animals run around and play. Um, I just wanted to naked face show you that everything you see on my face was like a pre-existing breakout. So you guys have an idea of how like really breakout prone I am. Um, the good news is, after wearing Born This Way yesterday, I have not broken out. Like, nothing here is new. So, super excited. Fingers crossed. Um, I don't know what Megatron sees outside, but he is super excited about it. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to keep wearing it for the next couple of days, and hopefully we will continue to have no new breakouts. So, we'll see. I totally almost forgot to record this, but I wore Born This Way all day today. Um, I'm strobing like crazy at this point. Um, but, oh my goodness. That is a panzer. <laughs> okay, so, um, what I will say is with a primer, it does a lot better. Um, last time without the primer, I feel like it did oxidize a little um, and turned a little bit yellow, but today it looks fantastic. I still do not put a setting powder on top just used a primer this time. Sorry about the fan back there. Okay, so probably gonna wear it at least one more day and then I'm gonna come back with kind of like a collective final thought. But this has been on, it's pretty late. I don't even know what time it is, probably midnight and I put it on at like noon and then walked and it's like 100 degrees, so. So far so good, I'm liking it. Okay, so don't mind the funky lighting. Uh, we're gonna talk about some final thoughts with the Born This Way foundation. So at this point in the day, I have had it on since at least noon. And it is now, baby, what time is it? 10. It is 10. So uh, it has been at least 10 hours, uh, if not a little bit longer. And, well, no, because I went to work at 12. So I had to have got ready at 11. <laughs> okay, so. There you go. Um, what I will say overall, uh, it is fantastic with a primer and uh, with a setting spray or setting powder. Um, do I feel like I have to have a setting powder? No. Uh, it does do well with the setting spray though, and I have to have a primer or it actually turned really yellow on me. So that's important to know. Um, I definitely like it with my stippling brush, which is this guy, um, because I do feel like it is very, very easy to build up with a stippling brush. Um, would I buy it? Absolutely. Do I recommend you buy it? Absolutely. Um, what does it really say about it? I don't know. I feel like I talked about it a lot in the last couple of videos, so I don't really know what else to say besides yes, I really, really like it, and I think Jared hit a home run on this one. So, born this way, it's two thumbs up. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, and if there is another like vegan, cruelty-free foundation you want me to review, let me know. Um, until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.